Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. I, I, I do want to ask you guys about that. I think it's interesting that you brought that up because I think if there's one guy on this list that I would pick to uh, to usurp Zach Eady as the National Player of the Year this season, I think it would be Hunter Dickinson. And, and the reason I say that is I think he'll be the best player on the number one team in the country playing for a coach that loves to find a way to get the ball into big guys as much as anybody else. RC, am I crazy with that opinion? You know what? The only pushback I'm going to give you on it is I don't know if Kansas has enough shooting around him, right? And he's going to be in the starting mm -hmm. lineup with KJ Adams. So I, it, it looks like the the old Kansas two game is showing up. The high low action is coming back into Kansas. So, He'll get his touches, but if you do that, I don't see them guarding KJ on a perimeter. So maybe they'll flip flop. Uh, Hunter can knock down perimeter shots, but you don't. He, he's doing you a favor if he's playing behind a three point line. So uh, I think he'll get his numbers because Bill Self's the best coach in college basketball. He'll find ways. They're really good defensively, but uh, I, I have my concerns about Kansas. My, my concerns more of a Hunter is on the defensive end with that team than than offensively. I think he'll get his touches and get numbers, but I, I worry about him in ball screen defense the way their team is is built. Yeah, we're, we're burying the lead here. We've talked about everybody on this first team. We've mentioned Filipowski, you mentioned Kolek, we mentioned Kyle Brenner, we mentioned Hunter Dickinson. We haven't talked about the guy that's the reigning national player of the year in Zach Eady. Before we break down his game and, and, and kind of talk a little bit about uh, what he is as a player and what he's, he's going to do this season, Tyler, I want to ask you this. You won the National Player of the Year Award in uh, 2008, and you came back to school for your senior season in 2008-2009. Uh, what is what's what's the level of expectation on ed here what changes after you've won that award and you come back and you're playing again in college basketball the next season well for me i felt a lot of pressure um and obviously the start of the season didn't go too smooth for me because i dealt with an injury early on that forced me to sit a couple games but when i look at zach ed and uh you know just comparing him to me totally different player I mean, there's nobody that's been as physically dominating with their size uh, in college basketball like him, kind of in a way like Shaq. Uh, but I think Zach Eady is no question the best player in college basketball and the most dominant player in college basketball. Last year when I watched him, I thought he could have been the def defensive player of the year, the most improved player of the year, and obviously he was national player of the year. That's how good he, I think Zach Eady is. When when he's when he's coming back to school, right? When you came back, you ended up winning the national title in your senior season, and you didn't have the same level of individual accolades. Was that a result of, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say you prioritizing the team over yourself, but as defenses focused more on you, is that something where you're like, all right, we're going to let Ty Lawson cook here. All right, we're going to let Wayne Ellington cook here. How did that? How did that come about for you? And how can Zach Eady expand his game to be able to get past? the first round of the NCAA tournament this year? Well, he's going to have to learn to get open. Uh, he doesn't have the firepower around him that uh, my team at UNC did. And I do think that Purdue's guards have uh, drastically improved, and I think they'll be better from the outside this year. Uh, but Zach E is going to have to find uh, different ways to get angles in the post, get deep seals where he can go right up. Uh, but also I think he's going to have to improve his footwork uh, defensively, but uh, yeah, I think uh, he's going to have to find different angles and how to seal down low uh, to get the ball and go right up because the defense is there's no question there that's going to be their focal point. Uh, anytime anybody plays Purdue is Zach Eady. Yeah, okay. who who challenges him, John? How do you stop Zach? You know, I don't think any individual challenges him. I think teams are going to pop in that tape of the upset and kind of see what went wrong for them and, you know, certain games. And But I think the guards, like Tyler said, are going to be better around him. And I think that loss um, is going to motivate everyone in the program um, just in general, just to be better. Because, I mean, if you, you know, it's still fresh in my memory. They couldn't bring the ball to the court. I think that's why they lost that game, right? Like they couldn't get him the ball, right? So um, no one's going to stop him individually. If everyone around him has improved, especially shooting wise, um, you know, unless they run up against a 16 seed that's, you know, like after you, man, I, I think they'll be fine. <laughs> 
Yeah, RC, we got, we got to talk about the Vaulted app here because Vaulted is an app that allows you to participate in daily cash prize pools without an entry fee. It is the place that you can store your own predictions forever by using the Vaulted Challenge feature so you can prove that you're smarter than people like Jeff Goodman. Go and download the Vaulted app, that's V-L-T-E-D, for a free trial uh, and store your uh, store your predictions today and join the daily cash prize pools without an entry fee. Uh, Randolph. I send a challenge your way, man. I am saying that Zach Eady is going to be the uh, the repeat national player of the year in 2023, 24, 24. I'm locking that in. I'm saying that he's going to get it done. Do you accept my challenge, sir? No, I'm going to double down with you. I, I, I think he wins it. <laughs> um, I, the one thing I'd say is that I think this team is going to be really motivated to respond the way they lost. Uh, I, I think this year that they'll they'll – I think the guard play will be better. I think overall this team would be better. They were embarrassed. I think they're hungry. Uh, Zach doesn't need to, you know, to, to – there's not much better you can be. I do think defensively he was much better than he's been. I think he can take a step there. But you got you big guys know in the first round of that tournament, you're playing them small ball teams, and they got that 6'8", six, 6'6", six, six guy that's playing on the perimeter, and he's 7'5". We, we knew they was in trouble when they started just switching and just putting him on guards – he had to do something he hadn't done all year in that desk, you know, it, just out of a desperate situation. I think he'll be better. I think their team will be better. I think the guards will respond. Loy and Smith will respond. I, I got no doubt that their team will be there. And honestly, I, I think they'll make a trip to Phoenix, to be honest. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. All right. Let me ask you guys this. And, and Tyler and John Tyler, we'll start with you first on this one. Um, if you look at this first team All-American team, you could legitimately have five centers on it. Right. And and I don't think anybody would really bat an eye. If you took Tyler Kolick off that team, put Armando Baycott on there, there's an argument to be made that those are the five best players in college basketball. You might be able to throw uh, Donovan Kling in that conversation at some point. Uh, there are a lot of very, very good big guys in college basketball. And that is more or less the result of NIL keeping them around and making them more valuable at the college level than they are at the NBA right now. Is this just. What's going to happen with college basketball moving forward, Tyler? Is this just where we are that it's going to become a big man's game? Uh, the the big man is being undervalued right now, especially at the NBA level. And I think sometimes, uh, you know, in, in years past, some of these big men, especially Zach Eady, I think when I played, there's no way he'd be coming back to school. I think he'd be a lottery pick. Uh, but right now, the way that the game – is going small and a lot of teams value the three point shot. I think we're going to see big men come back to college, uh, but also NIL does help that, uh, you know, it always helps whenever you can get paid a lot of money uh, to play, you know, basketball, especially in college. And a lot of these guys are probably making more money at their universities than they would uh, playing professional basketball. So it's definitely an easy decision uh, versus when I played uh that's that's why i would say a lot of these bigs are coming back to college thank you for watching the field of 68 if you've enjoyed what you've seen here hit that like button share this link with your friends or check out the description for some other places that you can consume field 68 content